The Korean Peninsula was a Japanese colony from 1910 until the end of World War II. It was then split between Russia and the United States during the treaty process and the dividing line was established at the 38th parallel. The Russians backed a communist leader in the north while the United States promoted a democratic government in the south. On the 25th of June 1950, North Korean People's Army crossed the 38th parallel and invaded the Republic of Korea. This led the Security Council of the United Nations to intervene and soon member nations were sending troops to defend South Korea against their aggressors. The Korean War was the first conflict of the Cold War. Troops from the United States, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia came to the aid of South Korea, while China and the Soviet Union helped to supply and train the North Korean army. The North Koreans headed for the port of Busan, located at the southern coast of the peninsula. By August, the North Korean army had almost pushed their opposition out of the country. But with the help of UN troops and an invasion of the port of Incheon, the North Korean army began to flee back north in fear of being completely cut off from supplies and communications. In October of 1950, the UN forces crossed the 38th parallel and were headed toward the Chinese border in the north. In the same month, the Chinese army joined the fight by crossing the Yalu River and pushing UN forces south. Seoul, the capital of South Korea, just south of the 38th parallel, changed hands four times during the conflict. A stalemate took hold around the 38th parallel by mid-1951, and soon after armistice talks began. An official armistice would not be signed until 27th of July, 1953 which established the Korean demilitarized zone surrounding the 38th parallel in the return of POWs. This war was the first military test for the newly formed United Nations. It was also the first time that jet fighters engaged in air-to-air -air combat. There has yet to be an official treaty signed between the two sides. The first official American casualty during the war occurred on the 28th of June, 1950. His name was Frederick Walsh. Walsh was from Maslin, Ohio, and was an 18-year-old private in the Army Signal Corps. Surviving his wounds, he eventually served 20 years in the Signal Corps, retiring as a Sergeant First Class.